good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog today is thursday april 4th oh my best friend's birthday is coming up i think i think i talked brian into driving me to dallas to see her because i don't need to be driving by myself we shall see i'm super excited i'm getting ready for the day i gotta hurry up we have a chiropractor appointment in about 15 minutes so I have about 10 minutes to get ready. Um, I'm not doing much though. I'm gonna put my hair up. And then I just thought that I'd chit chat with you guys. So in my last vlog, I got everything ready for the hospital. I did decide to go ahead and pack my makeup bag tonight. Um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. I'm 36 weeks. We started my weekly appointments a little bit early because yesterday I was officially official, officially diagnosed with um, gestational hypertension, which I've had with all my boys. Um, but I've also had preeclampsia, like headaches and things like that, protein in my urine. Don't have protein in my urine now, but I do get frequent headaches when my blood pressure is high and nauseous, and those are all preeclampsia signs. So, um, the doctor said she doesn't think she's gonna let me go to 39 weeks, which was originally the plan. We already knew I wasn't gonna make it till 40, just because they don't wanna risk me going in to labor with all the C-sections I have. It could be um, fatal for me and baby if I try to go into labor. So she said, she was like, she was like, and honestly, I don't even think your body would naturally make it to 39 weeks. And she asked me how I felt. And I was like, you know, it's funny you ask because I told my husband, I told Brian, I said, I don't think I'm gonna make it to 39 weeks. And Brian was like, why do you say that? And the doctor said, why do you say that? And I was like, my body just feels different. Like everything just feels different this pregnancy. I feel ready, my body feels ready. Like not only that, but like even physically, like I am prepared for this baby. So um, I just don't think it is, but she said, depending on how my blood pressure does this week, um, will depend on how early she schedules my c-section so it could be the latest is like 38 weeks in a few days but for sure not 39 weeks and it could be sooner so we just don't know but definitely going to be having an april baby um which is so funny because brian is like my number one person we click we mesh well like he's my confidant my everything he's born in april and then Raquel, my best friend, she's like, I, like I feel like there's three parts of me and it's me, Raquel, and then Brian. And um, she's born in April. So I'm just like, you know what? Me and people born in April just vibe. Like I'm not even mad about it. Um, I do, I'm really hoping Brian, cause he has the weekend off. So I'm really hoping like Saturday morning we could take off to Dallas or something or even Friday night. So you guys, baby's coming soon. Um, it's so funny because regularly, like my blood pressure is like in the 110s, like the teens, like it rarely goes up to like 120, like when I'm not pregnant. So it's like 116, 118 over like 70 or six, like high 60s. Now my blood pressure is regularly like high 130s, 140s over high 80s and 90s, which is high blood pressure for me. And on the days that I'm just feeling ick and gross, like have migraines, feel nauseous, just don't feel good, my blood pressure is like 150 or like 100. And she's like, you need to start going in, yada, yada, yada. But I didn't because the last time I went in because my blood pressure was that high and I didn't feel good. And then like, you know, like once you get to the doctor, like all the symptoms just stop. That happened and then they were like, well, you don't need to be coming because my doctor was out of town because it was spring break weekend. And they pretty much told me like, well, you don't need to come in unless your blood pressure is like 160 top number or higher and the bottom number is higher than 100. And when I told my doctor that, she was like, who told you that? I was like, the nurses and the doctor in triage that day told me that. And she was like, no, she's like, I don't care. She was like, even if your blood pressure is in the 140s, but you're having symptoms she's like you need to go in i was like okay well now i know she was like and you tell them to call me like don't say my doctor said she was like no you need to tell them call doctor my doctor's name and i was like okay and i was like because i told her i'd be snitching because i'm like look i went i tried to do my part and then she was just telling me like it's best for me to go even if i feel like it's gonna be a waste of time because 
if I have a seizure while I'm having those symptoms, at least I'll be at the hospital. And nobody can say, well, like, she didn't come in. She didn't let us know. Like, I would already be there. So basically saying, like, don't let it be my fault something bad happens to me. So I was just like, you know what, sis? I got you. I got you, Dr. Ogan Jimmy. This is literally all I've been doing for my makeup. And it takes, like, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. That's because I always... Oh no, I've been liking doing my eyeshadow recently. So I'm gonna go start the car. They come them up, the boys are eating. Makeup is just about done. I just gotta do my brows. Show y'all what I've been doing to my brows recently. So I just did them. I'm gonna try to do them every week. So whenever I go in for baby, I'm not in there looking crazy. And then I need to figure out, I'm trying not to plan anything, but I'm wondering if I should throw some curly hair products into my hospital bag because my plan was to straighten my hair. But if I go in Wednesday and she's like, nope, we need to go to the hospital today, like my hair's not gonna be straight because I wash my hair at the beginning of the week. But I don't think she'll do that. I think she would just be like, okay, go to the hospital tomorrow morning, unless it's like super high with protein in my urine. I think that's the only way she would probably make me go in same day. But by next Wednesday, we will have a for sure date on when little Bambina will be here. Me and Raquel have decided to call baby Bambino because when my dad was alive, that's what he would always call like all my babies. He's like, let me see that little Bambino. And he's not here anymore, so sucks. You know, you just want your parents and I feel like my dad wasn't allowed to be a part of a lot of my life, like a lot. Like he always had to just watch from the sidelines and pretend like he wasn't my dad. Long story, y'all. But to sum it up, my dad's always been in my life. I didn't know him as my dad. I knew him as uncle. <laughs> but he was like not allowed to be a part of like, like I said, like a lot of my life. And so it just makes me sad that like the Lord kind of took him like right after our relationship was reconciled. Cause it didn't get reconciled until I was pregnant with Ethan in 2014. And I believe it was like 21, 22. And, um, we were like immediately close my dad and i like best friends and him and ethan were really really close and so it just kind of makes me sad that like he got to see a lot of my accomplishments like getting married gave brian his blessing and things like that but like now he's not gonna see anymore like he's not gonna see because it wasn't even about me i was like you know what he wasn't able to be there for me like i'm gonna make sure he's a part of his grandkids life and so like he's just not gonna get to see a lot of that stuff but can't dwell on it i just gotta be thankful for the times that we did share but definitely like when we buy bought our new car when, when we had first bought the wagoneer he did get to see the house when we bought it but like we're about to sell this one and get like like our forever home like with the next house we buy like we want it to be our forever home and like he's not gonna get to see that we gotta buy a new car like he's not gonna get to see that and it's not about the material things like i just want it to be like look i'm like i did it like and he was always like genuinely happy and like just always genuinely happy for brian and i and that's hard to find in my family so it just makes things in life like every accomplishment hurts a little bit more. Cause like, I can't just call him and be like, look dad. I didn't call him dad, I called him uncle. Cause that's just what I grew up calling him. But um, when I had this baby, like <laughs> trying to hold it together. But every day for like the past week, I just been wanting to cry, but I haven't. <laughs> Cause I just, we're going through so much financially. There's other things that are going on like with custody and stuff. And it's just, I know God's going to work it out. And I know for those who follow the Lord, it's usually in God's favor and according to God's righteousness. So I'm not worried, but it's still stressful to go through the motions and with the car and things like that. So it's just, it, it's a lot. And I'm just like, I don't have time to feel grief right now. Like I need to deal with what's right here, right now that I can control. But that grief, I tell you, has been knocking not who's that knocking on my window nah ha ha the name is grief that's off of stomp the yard and it actually says data new but 
yeah that's how i feel it's like it's knocking on my door and i want to let it out while i'm pregnant so that way after i have baby and my hormones are crazy i don't get postpartum depression but i told brian like if i start acting out of line take me to a damn doctor to get checked for postpartum depression <laughs> when we were watching love and hip-hop atlanta and what's her name Kalina ended up with postpartum depression and she was treating her friends like crap and like just burning all her bridges. And so I told Brian, I said, if it gets to a point where you see me talking bad to Raquel, take me to the doctor, T take me to the doctor. But <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys at um, the chiropractor library. And then I think we're gonna go to McDonald's cause I told the boys we could go to McDonald's today and I wanted to take them to like the playground in mcdonald's and then we're gonna go to my sister's house for some water balloon and water gun fights and stuff like that Getting your stuff all mixed up. Mm. Did you look on the floor? We can do this in this. Let me see. All right, you guys. We are here at McDonald's for lunch, and then we're heading. I did get quite a bit of editing done, but I just have like a couple more days to add to the vlog for this week. So I'll probably do that while I'm at my sister's and the boys are uh, playing outside and having fun. So, but right now we're gonna eat lunch and then head out. I was gonna take them to a McDonald's where they could play, but since my nieces and nephews couldn't go, I was like, you know what, we'll just eat, leave, and then head that way. But I did promise them earlier this week that we would have McDonald's today, so that's what we're doing. Forgot to take meat out for dinner.
Get king! Get king! <laughs> oh, that's as far as it goes. <laughs> Alright you guys, we've been home since about 2.45ish, it's currently 4.53, I'm going to have to wake the boys up in about, it's actually 4.43, Brian has these clocks in the kitchen 10 minutes ahead, I don't know why, but um, I have to actually wake them up in about 20 minutes, so um, I did get a couple of things from Walmart that I just needed, so you guys saw the big old bag of dog food. I'm gonna make um, crispy chicken sandwiches for dinner. So I got um, pickles, need more sliced cheese. And we also need essential oils for the house. I had to, I bought lavender too. They were out at Walmart, so they're shipping it, but peppermint, lavender, and lemon together is great for allergies, and we've all been having some allergies. Um, but I did also just get um, tea tree that's really good for purifying the air and so is um, lemon so I got uh, I got tea tree peppermint lemon and orange buns for the chicken sandwiches I already have the chicken patties and the french fries yeah. We have soccer practice, and on soccer practice days, I just want everything to be super easy. Um, got some romaine lettuce for the sandwiches, and some tomatoes. Um, that is everything I got. I'm gonna put everything away, and then I'm gonna go lay back down for a little bit until it's time to go because I'm getting a headache. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have a snack. I'm going to eat a snack, drink a water, and then probably make me a liquid IV to take to practice because I'm just not feeling well. Hey guys, so I have not vlogged since Thursday. Today is Sunday the 7th <laughs> and I'm at Walmart. I am buying stuff to pack my boys a go bag for since the doctor told me I'm not going to be able to make it to 39 weeks. The boys are going to have to go to my mom's house. So I'm going to get them like some outfits that I can go ahead and pack. And then like toothbrushes, their own like little toothpaste. Their own like, mm, I think I'm having contractions. Their own like little toothpaste and stuff. So that way they can have all of that for my mom's house while they're over there. So we will have my C-section scheduled. We will get to my C-section scheduled on Wednesday at my appointment and get me all prepped and checked and make sure I'm ready for delivery. So, so far. So like what I'm gonna do, got four boys. So these are the expensive ones. I want the ones that have like, it's, it's like a two pack. So I'm gonna find them some loofahs like I said, I want them each to have their own little bag, so I need to find the travel size stuff. So far, all I have are water bottles for my mom's house. Okay, so I'm gonna grab four of these. Mm. It's the kind they use at home, so I'll get four of these. They can get four little mouthwashes. 
to. And four. And then they'll obviously need toothbrushes. So let's do. These are ages four to eight, two to eight. What age is this group three? I'm gonna do these ones just because they're closer to their ages. And there's four of them. I am home. I forgot I was vlogging when I was inside of Walmart, but this is how their little toiletry bags turned out. So they each got a mouthwash, toothpaste, body wash, lotion, toothbrush, loofah. And then I bought them each two outfits. And then they're taking one outfit that they already have. I just did it this way so that way they had enough clothes to last them instead of not being able to wear clothes that was packed up and then having to do laundry more often. So Walmart has these really cute two-piece shirts right now. Um, and then like these shorts. So this is Kings. I thought that that set was really cute. And then I got them some socks. These socks were only $7 for 10 pairs. And then we have Bryson over here. And then we have Brian. He has black shorts with the orange shirt. And then that outfit. And then we have Ethan over here. And then they have, like I said, an outfit from that they've already had pajamas underwear from home and that's everything that's going to be in their bags